This is a recording of the, um, the virtual lab, How Mutations Work. Um, for those of you that were not able to download Molecular Workbench for whatever reason, I am just going to do the lab and just, just um, kind of talk you through it. I'll, I'll try to go as fast as I can. I met with some students yesterday and it took an hour, um, but a lot of that was me and my lack of technology um, knowledge and experience. Um, but anyway, it, it was, uh, I imagine, not the most fun for the students who were there, but um, I, I figure I can make it a little shorter if I just record it this way. Um, and you can just watch it. So, um, so basically, I mean, I could read it, but um, what is a mutation? A mutation is a change in the DNA sequence. Germline mutations, which can affect reproductive cells like sperm and egg, can be passed on to offspring. Somatic mutations, which affect other cells, cannot be passed on. So what we're talking about really are uh, somatic mutations, mutations in cells that um, are not going to affect the offspring of the person. They're just going to affect the, the person that has the mutation in their DNA. So um, a mutation is a change in DNA and it can, it, it can be caused just randomly, just random errors in the DNA replication process, or it can be caused by uh, radiation or, or chemicals that damage the DNA. And so when it replicates, um, it makes a mistake. All right, um, there are three basic types of DNA mutations. A substitution is when you substitute one nu nucleotide for another. So in the first, the original sequence, you can see that it's adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. Adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, A, T, C, G. And then an A is inserted in the place of the C um, in the mutated sequence. An insertion mutation inserts a nucleotide into the um, original DNA sequence. And that's going to change everything from this point where the mutation occurs on um, down, you know, the, the DNA um, sequence. A deletion is going to do the same thing. In, uh, insertions and deletions are called frame shift mutations because they're going to change the code all the way down. They're not just going to change one nucleotide to another. They're going to change every single nucleotide all the way down is going to be different now. So in a deletion, the original sequence is ATCG and it, and the T, the T has been deleted. So the um, mutated sequence is ACG. And so everything from this point down, the rest of the DNA sequence is going to be different. So make a prediction. Which mutation types do you think will most likely cause the biggest changes in the translated protein? And um, it's going to be insertion and deletion because they are frame shift mutations. And will more most likely affect well most likely um, cause changes to more amino acids. Okay, and um, because um, well, I'll talk to you about that. If you don't remember about transcription and translation, I'll kind of review it here. Okay, so first we're going to practice, um, we're going to do a substitution mutation. And the way that we do that is, okay. <sighs> Sorry. There we go. All right, so trend, this is the original DNA sequence. As you can see, it's the original DNA sequence. And um, transcription is when the DNA inside the nucleus is, is transcribed into messenger RNA, 
which is going to be complementary, the sequence of the messenger RNA is going to be complementary to one of the DNA strands, the DNA template strand, and every three groups of nucleotides will code for an amino acid. Um, for example, as you can see here, AGA is going to code for arginine. ARG is arginine. And then UUU is going to code for phenylalanine. Um, and then when we do translation, that is when the protein is produced. Each group of codons, each um, triplet code, codes for a specific amino acid. And translation causes those amino acids to be linked to form the protein. So as you can as you can see, the first amino acid was arginine, which is um, an aqua color, so it's hydrophilic. That means it's soluble in water. But the rest of the amino acids, the second one is phenylalanine, and all the rest of them are hydrophobic, um, making that protein mostly insoluble in water. So it says take a snapshot and we are going to draw an arrow to the phenylalanine since that was that was the second one the second amino acid that was produced and now we are going to make a change we're going to change the TTT, the second codon in the DNA, to TCT. So we're going to have to reset. And yes, we want to reset. And then I'm going to make this T, a substitution mutation, substitute a C for a T. Now I'm going to transcribe. And if you remember, it was originally UUU. Now it's UCU. So when that messenger RNA is translated into a protein, the second amino acid is no longer phenylalanine. It is serine, S-E-R, serine, which is hydrophilic. And now we'll draw an arrow to serine to show the difference in, in the second amino acid sequence. Now it says, here we're supposed to put the picture, the original picture, which is this one with the phenylalanine, click and drag. And then here we are supposed to put the mutated amino acid sequence with the serine. And then, we do challenge number two, which is to make another substitution mutation um, and see if instead of getting a, a another hydrophilic, like serine was hydrophilic, See if we can get a, substitute, a substitution mutation that gives us a um, hydrophobic amino acid in the place of um, the phenylalanine. So um, we're going to reset. I'm just going to do a substitution here. Okay, this substitution mutation, um, as you can see, if I scroll up a little bit, as you can see, did not produce another hydrophobic amino acid. It produced a hydrophilic amino acid in the place of the original one. Um, so I'm going to reset and try a different change. Okay. Um, 
change this to a G. We'll try that. Now transcription, translation. Yay. Okay, so the um, The amino acids are arginine, phenylalanine, glycine, leucine. So that fourth amino acid is leucine. And if you look at, if you go back and look at the original, sorry, I don't know how to get this off. Close. Okay, if you go back and look at the original, it is arginine, phenylalanine, glycine, and leucine. So that change didn't even change the amino acid. Um, and that's actually called a silent mutation, which we're going to look at in just a minute. Uh, I didn't take a snapshot. I'm sorry. Let me go back up and take a snapshot of it. And I'm drawing an arrow to the leucine, which didn't change. Even though we made a um, substitution mutation, the amino acid did not change. So again, that is an example of a silent mutation. Some substitution mutations result in a malfunctioning protein, but others do not. What might be the reason for this? Well, just as we as we just saw, um, sometimes a mutation doesn't change the amino acid. And sometimes even when it does, it becomes another, either another like hydrophobic or hydrophilic amino acid like the original one, and it will cause less um, less problems. As like if if this leucine had changed to an aqua colored hydrophilic amino acid, there would probably be more damage to the actual overall protein than if it you know change to an amino acid that was um, pink and hydrophobic. Okay, so our next part is silent mutations. All of the following codons are used in the model below. Synthesize the protein and then check off the ones that code for leucine. Well, that's funny because um, we just found out a couple that code for leucine. So the fourth codon, CUC, CUC codes for leucine. And we can also look at the genetic code table. Leucine is here. It's UUA, UUG, and then CUU, CUC, CUA, CUG. So see which ones of these we have um, CUA, CUC, CUU, and CCU does not code for, for leucine. So we've got our answer correct. Now we are going to make another silent mutation. I didn't make the first one on, on purpose, but um, we're going we're gonna to make another one. So this time I have to pick a different um, a different sequence to mutate. So um, let's see. All right. So the original codon is TTT, or well, it's going to code for. Um, hold on. Let's just do transcribe at the end. There we go. The original codon is UUU. -U -U. 